Give me a second. What? What's a what? Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foods for you today and this was like an easy makeup week. It was a busy work week so this week I was pretty much just like grabbing for makeup things that I knew I would like and just kind of like tried and true makeup looks. So this kind of an eye look, neutral lip, different kind of cheek options but I have two standouts for the week but just that kind of like never fail ya kind of makeup look, that go-to sort of look that's what I was doing for me. This is my kind of like go-to makeup look. So yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about. So let's get to it. So for eyes, my kind of go-to never fail me sort of look is like either a bronzy smoky eye or a taupey smoky eye or something in that family. So these are my two standouts this week, both from the drugstore. Good old Maybelline color tattoo and bad to the bronze. This has been around for a long time. I've even like swirled it back around to like give it life back, but I kind of like go through phases with this where I like forget about it and don't show it much love and then I pull it back out one day and I'm like what I need to use this like every single day of my life because what that is gorgeous that right there you don't even need a shadow over it just do that blend it up maybe put a little bit of bronzer in your crease that's what I have in my crease today I do have a shadow over this but you don't even have to I mean you could just do the bronzer and this and be good to go. I mean, that is gorgeous. And I love that it's kind of like right in between a bronze and a taupe. It's just like not super chocolatey, but not super silvery either. It's just gorgeous. Super pigmented, wears really well throughout the day. I still like the potted ones more than the like chubby pencil ones. I don't think those are bad. I like those, but I just like these better. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I can like build them up a little bit more and this one is just like incredible. My favorite one of the whole bunch. And then the palette is this little quad from L'Oreal. This is one of the Color Riche pocket palettes and this is in 106 Boudoir Charm. This one is so pretty. Like if you love bronzy, chocolatey, what would you call that one? Like a burgundy bronzy sort of a color? I think you would love this palette. I have this one on my eyes over um, Bad to the Bronze today. But this is so pretty. It's really pigmented. These are, I mean, pretty much you've got like, you could like use these all together, but all three of these would be just great, easy smoky eyes. I feel like a smoky eye is just like so easy to get out the door. You know what I mean? That's why it's like my go-to for me, that it's just a one shadow, get out the door kind of a look, but I feel like with this kind of sheen to them, it looks like you did more. And if you use your bronzer on the crease, you do have something else happening there. So gives it even more dimension. So it's great. And you already have your bronzer out because you're, you know, likely maybe, well, maybe on, maybe not on like a super fast makeup day, but I usually throw some bronzer in my, you know, like contours of my face. So I've already got my bronzer out. So I might as well just put some on my eyes. So, you know, anyway, I'm babbling. That's a beautiful little quad there. Super pigmented, really affordable. I think it's like, well, it's still affordable, but not like Rimmel or Wet n Wild affordable. I think this is like around $9 or $10 or something like that. Maybe it's $8, but you get four eyeshadows and they're really good. They wear really well. If I had to pick a favorite from the quad, I would probably pick this one because it's kind of like a I don't know, coppery bronzy color and it has a little bit of micro shimmer in it, which is really pretty. But that one's really pretty too. They're all very nice. This one's probably my least favorite just because it's like, I don't know what to do with you, but it's still kind of pretty. Anyway, nice palette, great for getting out the door. For blush, one of my get out the door blushes is Chanel's Jersey. This is one of those blushes that you don't have to wear a bronzer with it. Like this is just a really neutral sort of a blush. So it can kind of be like, blush bronzer in one. It just gives like dimension to your cheeks, but also color to your cheeks. It's absolutely beautiful. This was my first Chanel blush and it's amazing. And it's one of my top five blushes. And it's because it's just gorgeous and it's very, very neutral. So it's one of those that I think you get a lot of use out of. So, you know, if you're wanting to like splurge and get like a fancy blush. 
I think this would be a great one. I think it wouldn't be one of those that you like get it and then never use it and then feel guilty about it. I think you'd use it a lot because it just goes with everything. Again, it's that quick out the door blush bronzer kind of a blush and it smells nice. It feels fancy. It just like, oh my goodness, my Chanel blush. It just, it feels fancy. So it makes me smile, puts a smile on my face when I'm getting ready. It's a very neutral color. It's got a little bit of like a pink, a pinchy, <laughs> a pinchy sheen. Nope. A peachy sheen to it, which is really beautiful. Gives it just a little bit of something extra, but still with that really neutral undertone. This one isn't necessarily a get out the door blush, but I do feel like it's a way to like quickly wake up your face and just give you some color and make a big difference in your makeup look quickly. Just by using a blush, I feel like it kind of like kicks up the makeup look a notch, something like this, something like fresh. Let me even tell you what it is. It's what I'm wearing right now. This is one of the Fiona Style Soft Cheek Veils, and this is in Maiden Lane. Such pretty packaging. It's kind of like metallic-y purple. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit hard to get into though, I've noticed. Let me see. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a second. What the what? Okay, that legit just took me like 25 seconds to get into that sucker, but I made it. It's like a magnetic closure, but it's a really strong magnet and it's kind of a little bit slippery. So because it's, I don't know, that like metallic -y, I'm not sure. It's a little bit difficult to get into, but once you're into it, it's really beautiful. So it's a really bright blush color. Like it looks like it's going to be really, really scary looking at it in the pan, but it's one of those blushes that is really easy to work with. It blends really easily and it kind of has to be built up like kind of like the Clinique Cheek Pops. But when you look at it in a swatch, you're going to go, mm, that doesn't look like it would be that way. Like it swatches pretty intensely. But I find that if I don't get a ton of product on my brush, but I really don't feel like I have to be super careful, but just don't dig your brush in the pan. You don't need that much, but just get a little bit on your brush and like slowly buff it in and build it up on your skin. And then it just looks gorgeous. It just gives this like added pop of color. If you're going really neutral with the rest of your makeup, cause you're trying to just like get out the door or you just want a neutral makeup look, but you want to kick it up a notch and just add a little bit of a freshness, little bit of a pop of color. I think this is a great way to do it. Just look at that. So beautiful. I'm like hooking my hair here. If I've been like, moving my hair around with me as I show my swatch. I don't even know. But anyway, beautiful blush color. Love, love, love that. Again, it looks so scary in the swatch, but it doesn't look like that on the skin. It just has this beautiful, fresh look. It's so gorgeous. For lips this week, this was definitely a standout for me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Soft Lilac. So I was trying to guess what color one of the girls on The Bachelor was wearing and I kind of thought it might be this, so I ordered it, and I don't know if it is or not, but I really like it, and it does look close to the color she was wearing, because it was just kind of like a sort of muted, rosy pink kind of a color with a little bit of like a purpley tint, and this looks pretty close to it. So I'm not 100% sure, but this looks really close. So it's just, yeah, that kind of like mauvey, rosy, pinky, sort of a shade with a little bit of purpley in there. That's a lot of words to describe it, but you can see it there. It's a beautiful color. Now this formula, I really haven't worn one of these in a long time. It's more towards a traditional liquid lipstick. So not as comfortable as like Ofra is, or definitely not as comfortable as the um, Gen Nude liquid lip colors from Bare Minerals. Those really they really don't seem much like a liquid lipstick. So they're, this is not like those. This is more of like a traditional liquid lipstick sort of a formula, but not that bad. A little bit more uncomfortable, but not terrible. It did do a little bit of the line, but it's not super far off from a natural lip color. So it wasn't like a crazy obvious, they're not their line. So just a little bit of a line, but because it's not like a super dark color or a super bright color or something it wasn't really super duper obvious but I just love that shade I think it's such a pretty girly color and it's not crazy bright or crazy dark but it just has a little bit of color to it you know it's just 
girly and a little bit colorful, but still just a little bit neutral. It's kind of like the best of all the worlds. All the worlds that you would maybe want in a lipstick, I feel like this has it. It's so pretty. I really, really like this a lot. And what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I actually just reapplied some because this isn't very long wearing at all, but it's really, really pretty, really comfortable on the lips, and it's really special to me because Timothy got it for me for Valentine's Day, so I just love it. Like, it's just special and girly, and I think it's beautiful. So, good thing I hung on to the box because the name of the product is on the bottom of it, but the color isn't. Like, the color number is, but not the name. So anyway, good thing I hung on to the box so I can tell you all of the info. So this is the YSL Beauty Rouge Velepti Shine Oil in Stick. And this is the number, this is in color number 44, Nude Lavalier. So I absolutely love the packaging on these lipsticks. They just look so fancy and special. You know, when I'm looking at other YSL lipsticks, like I'm drawn to different colors, but I don't like the packaging as much on like the other types of lipsticks, just the ones that look like this. Like they're still pretty, but they're not like as amazingly gorgeous as these are. I just absolutely love this packaging. So beautiful packaging. It feels weighty. It just looks fancy, feels fancy. This is a beautiful, glossy, everyday pink color. So it's very, very neutral, but it doesn't last very long. It's that oil and stick sort of a formula. So it's not very long wearing, but it feels amazing on the lips. It looks really glossy and beautiful. So it feels like a treatment on the lips, but you're gonna have to reapply it. But I don't mind that because it's just like, ooh, it just, you know, feels girly and just, I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to apply it because it's really pretty packaging. It feels nice on the lips and it makes me think of Timothy. So I just absolutely love it. It's so special. So that's definitely like of all my favorites, that's definitely like my number one favorite for the week because it means a lot. So um, today I'm wearing that lipstick, but then I also do have a little bit of lip liner on. So what I did is I applied the lipstick, but I wanted just a little bit more like definition because I noticed that like I need a little bit of definition down there. I need a little definition up here because just to even out the look of my lips. Like I don't need that, but if I want like a more defined lip shape, then I'll grab a liner, but I like to apply it over it because then it's not like an intense line or anything. Anyway, I'm babbling. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. So this is, you know, like a semi-dark pink, so I have it applied really, really lightly. So it, it looks nothing like that on my lips, really. I'm just kind of showing you. There's the swatch, but you really, you know, get a better idea of what I did with it on my actual lips. So that's so funny. This is like a $37 lipstick and a $2 lip liner. That's the way I roll. <laughs> but I just like that, you know, a lot of my like fancy makeup is stuff that I got with Timothy, like for Valentine's Day or whatever. So it just makes it extra special. So anyway, Love, love, love my new lipstick. I think it's so pretty. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So no fooies, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.